Ground movement caused by events such as volcanoes and earthquakes is capable of causing widespread destruction and devastating loss of life. Using a new technique called interferometry, geologists are using satellite radar to map ground movement with the aim of improving their understanding of its potentially hazardous effects. NPA satellite mapping based in southeast England is a world leader in developing and applying this technology. Interferometry is the comparison of two radar images taken on different occasions and it's looking for very subtle changes at the Earth's surface and it's something like a police speed gun. Uh, it's detecting a moving object but in our case it's detecting an object that's a very long way away and is moving a very small amount and very slowly. In fact it's more accurate than the conventional surveying techniques that we normally use. Each radar scene can be up to a hundred kilometers across and could contain tens of thousands of points on which we could make measurements. Detecting these minute changes can't yet predict earthquakes, like this one at Izmit in Turkey, where tens of thousands of people died. But radar interferometry proved to be extremely successful in showing exactly how the fault movement had occurred. Applying these technologies across Europe is the goal of Terra Firma, a ground motion monitoring service involving the analysis of radar scenes to locate urban zones at risk. Normally, if you start to make measurements uh, on some, a point that you think is vulnerable, you have to start today, and in two or three years' time, you'll get a, enough measurements to see the trend that's occurring. But using the radar technique, we already have a 10, 12, or even 13-year record that we can go back and process and see what happened in the past. So this is a, an enormous advantage. Uh, we have now longer periods of drought. We have longer periods of rain. There are many facets of European infrastructure, such as railways, road networks, bridges, dams, dikes, which are under increasing pressure from the rapid rate of climate change. So we've got a much greater requirement to be able to monitor them, and radar interferometry provides us with the means to do that. The first phase of Terra Firma has involved processing a dozen or so sites, including Istanbul, where interferometry has helped indicate where earthquake preparation efforts should be focused. Terra Firma hopes to expand its service to cover the whole of the EU by using the remarkable power of satellite-based interferometry.